Good afternoon ladies and welcome to this season's edition of In Vogue. Now we started this last spring in the height of lockdown when nobody could come and see us and I was desperately trying to convey to customers who'd never stepped foot in our shop that although we are not in the first flush of youth, we try so hard to keep both ourselves and you on trend. And one of the ways that we do this is every month we pour through Vogue and see what the fashions coming off the catwalks are. Now the thing you have to remember with Vogue is very often it's a year ahead. Although uh, stores like H&M and Zara can translate what they see on the catwalk extremely quickly, it takes us, the general public, a while to get our head around things. So generally what you see in Vogue and you think, oh my God, you will be wearing either the following year or the year after. Good afternoon ladies and welcome to Artichoke. It is 10 degrees outside in May. Everybody's telling me that this is exceptional weather for May, but actually you are looking at the person who's done countless county shows and horse trials during May. And I can assure you this weather is typical because that's why we don't do them anymore. In fact, one year at the Suffolk show, the gales were so black, bad that we had to abandon the show and our marquees blew away. So oh my actually, God. Oh, oh, it was honestly the cattle cattle marquee blew away, um, and I had to go come back to Norfolk by a stone market because the Orwell Bridge was shut. So we are having normal May weather, but ladies, it will shine in June. We are going to have a flaming June. I'm convinced of it. If you're new to Artichoke, welcome. This is one of our styling videos. We do one or two a week. Um, we do them live on Facebook and then we pop them on Instagram and YouTube afterwards. So if you're not watching us live and you want to hear from us again, either like our page on Facebook and it's important that you like rather than follow because then you'll get notifications and ping a bell and follow us and do whatever you need to do on another platform. For those of us who join us every week, hi, welcome, chat amongst yourselves. You can actually talk to Donna today because she's behind the camera. Hello, I'm here. And um, if you've got any questions to ask Donna, just fire away. Um, and then for those of you who've been watching these for months because we keep uh, having phone calls from people saying, oh, I've been watching your videos all through lockdown and we don't know who you are. So if you comment or just even put a little wave, it just means when you ring us up, we know who we're talking to. So we've got to get Hello, this Michaela. <laughs> oh, Michaela, hi. We've got to get this done in under an hour, so I'm going to crack on. I'm going to start from this way and then go round the table this way. And on this table are piece of pages of Vogue that I have torn out. So this first one is over. Oh no, I've got two here. Is oversized shirts, and you're going to see a lot of this throughout this afternoon because the oversized shirt is a huge trend this season. So I'm going to show you the artichoke version. Just put that version. closer a little bit. That's it. it. There it, you go, ladies. The artichoke version of this one. Yeah. And I think I'm going to show you the artichoke version of that one as well. Yep. So this is the Tessa. So we did a special on the Tessa on uh, Thursday, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. If you didn't see our video on Thursday, hop over to YouTube because we popped it there and it's on the blog. Um, and for those of you who actually have signed up to our newsletter, you would have received one all about the tester today and you will be lucky enough to have your exclusive offer. For those of you who are watching this and wish that you had an exclusive offer, then sign up to our newsletter via the website. So it's an oversized shirt, has a collar, it has a placket that ends just below the chest 
and it has sleeves that you can roll and at five foot seven it comes to it comes about two inches below my groin where does it come on you donna um it comes to oh. Like top, it, it's mid thigh. Probably top no, just above. It just covers my bottom, I think. Okay. Yeah. So it's a reasonably short one. We have it in three colours. We have it in the chambray, we have it in the white, and we have it in the patchwork. There is limited stock in Tunisia behind this, so if you want the patchwork one, you need to crack on and buy it. These will be part of our core essentials for years to come. So that's the Tessa online retailing at 59 pounds now those of you who uh follow us regularly will know that as we are launching different items that are part of our core range that have been designed by kathy who's our in-house designer we are naming the items and uh, jackie mcguire's mother-in-law gave us the idea of naming items either after our customers or after somebody that our customers um, have nominated. So this is on the shop floor, it is not online yet. Christine and I are going to be spending Tuesday getting stuff online and this is one of the shirts that we are doing. Again, it's an oversized shirt. Now with our oversized shirts, they are fitted on the shoulder and across the bust. They just become oversized elsewhere so that you don't look like Orphan Annie. And if you can see here, this has a gorgeous back hatch. Can yeah, you see can that, you see, Donna? can you see that? I'll just get a close up to show you. Can you see the fold? So and can I just point out that this one, just turn it round again, that this shirt has bust starts. Can you see the bust starts on that? For those of you who like a bust start, and I am one of them. And it well. has the covered buttons. It is yeah. a beautiful shirt. Yeah. It's called the Joanna, and we've named this after Jerry Craig's mother. So more about the Joanna when it goes on. Oh, and Ger Geraldine is watching at the moment, and, so there um, we go. If you want to get ahead of the crowds and make sure that you grab one of these, message us. So this is the Joanna, and it is £65. Is that, can I just ask, is that a one-off, only that one colour, Sarah? Uh, uh, moment it's only that one color i think we might do it in white and other colors as as we move through yeah but this season it's just this pale blue because yep. we've been talking about wearing pale blue a lot this season yes. and how it moves yeah. through the yeah. seasons yeah. and how actually it's it goes very neutral. i tried it on it's very lightweight ladies and it's very it, it's it's fairly sheer yeah it's a gorgeous yeah. oh top. it's beautiful Absolutely yeah beautiful. yeah so these are the oversized shirts. Um, I just wanted to show you this one. So this picture, I don't know if you can see this, is a white oversized shirt with stonewashed jeans, ladies, and gold jewellery. We've been talking a lot about jewellery becoming finer and wearing more gold. And throughout the styling videos that we've been doing this season, you might have wondered why so many of them we have been wearing stonewash jeans in and that is because as we go through this you will see that denim is a very very strong trend this season and look how perfectly let me find them your white tessa shirt goes oh I, with... for I forgot sarah was coming out the front <laughs> so i moved forward thinking you'd have a better view and i so forgot she was coming have jeans yeah the white tessa shirt these are our 1913 so they're the 7 8 length you'll remember you mm. saw that on the model we've got an oversized white tessa shirt and i have layered it with our dad and you can jewelry. tuck that shirt in you can tuck it in yeah if you look at the video on um thursday you'll see that actually i didn't wear mine out i just wore those necklaces up. look lovely with that and you know mm. we always have layer gate when we're wearing these necklaces yeah because of the labels so i thought that i'd do this in advance yeah. so this is a dress down very very chic look and all That's you a want very ladies chic look. is a pair of trainers yeah so now perhaps you're understanding 
happening now we're doing the in vogue video why there are certain items that we just don't shut up about in a season and then why there are others that we don't really talk about much at all i could bring this out for you that might be easier for you donna so this is another page that i've just grabbed from vogue can you see it there yeah you in yeah so we've got the oversized white shirt we've got um oh my god I've Baseball boots, we're doing convert, it, boat, imitation converses, we'll come to those later. A tan bag and a statement belt. Now we talk a lot about having statement belts. belts, ladies, about mm. investing in them. And these are the pieces you really should be considering investing in, as well as having a beautiful watch. You have a beautiful watch and a statement belt and you can wear a bin liner and you look a million dollars. So have we got some of our eyes peeled for statement belts? Are you oh, on the lookout? Only, it's mm. so, you know, it's hard to it's get. It's so hard to yeah. get belts. And then glasses. We're going to come back to glasses later, but I want you to look at the shape of the glasses. Before you go and buy your glasses, ladies, have a look at what's in Vogue, what's in L. Have a look at the glossy magazines because then you will be able to belt by a frame that has longevity as far as fashion is concerned. But that oversized shirt is a placket shirt as well. It's but gorgeous. ladies, you will not have to have your nipple on show for us. <laughs> you will not have to show your nipples in our oversized shirts. <laughs> so, <that> sorry. <laughs> what I was going to say is, please don't look at Donna and I for style inspiration as far as glasses are concerned because ours come from bonnets and they cost two pounds <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine is asking how much and I'm, I think she's referring to the Joanna shirt they're £65 Geraldine but we're sending yours out to you it's a present for us because it's named after your mum so as soon as we get our act together one will be coming out to you so the next trend is <laughs> denim, <laughs> on duty denim. I'm not going to come near because I just want, can you see here or do I need to No, 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 you stay there. It's easier if I okay. come to you, then that's, otherwise so you're going to be. You'll see, ladies, that we have been teaming up stonewashed jeans with posh jackets yes. all season. Ah, yeah. yeah, can yeah. you see the blazer here? Yeah. The blazer here. The blazer here. If you invest in nothing else this season, yeah. you know, we're not going to be going to the races, we're not going to be going to weddings, we're not going to be going to parties. This is the season. But, you know, the, the thing that you splash out on yeah. is a blazer. Yeah. Fortunately, we haven't got many left, but mm. because people are splashed out already. And the other thing I want to show you about this one yeah. is I want to show you the width of the leg ladies everything is getting wider mm. okay so wider leg jeans are coming in wider leg trousers are coming in i think that you know although this look has been on the catwalk for donkey's years it's now translating into 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 the high street so this is what we're looking for isn't it we just desperately we're, we're looking for wide leg jeans uh, yeah but we might have them made because um i have a pair that we could um ask for and have them made yeah. but uh, but in the meantime until we find them we do have some really nice lyocell collots which are um that uh have a look at the Lyocell collots. Are they online yet? Yeah, no, they've been online for a long time. Yeah, so, I mean, you can get the, that look with those collots, I yeah. think. and as we move into summer, we'll be styling the collots because yeah. we've got them in, in lots of different colours, I think. So, the other thing I want you to look at before I actually move on to the outfit that I've put together is the neutral jacket. You know, we've been talking about neutrals for a year now. We finally have, after a gap of about five years, a neutral rail in, in the shop. For the past four or five years, we have been putting neutrals with navy and black. Neutrals are coming into their own now. So again, ladies, just keep that at the back of your mind when you're out shopping and buying things. So I'm going to go back to the first sheet. It's a look that you would have seen on me hundreds of times. It's a timeless look. It's one that's easily achievable and just 
has it's just about effortless chic actually i mean I, I challenge anybody not to be able to put this together if they have a white t-shirt a cracking pair of jeans and a jacket that they look fabulous in and the so, jacket that jacket in that picture was a long line but obviously the jacket can be any length that uh, the, the length that suits you best so, so this is the way that we've done it this yeah. season and you've seen it endless times before. This is the last Barilocci jacket we have left in navy. We've still got them in fuchsia yeah. but we only have the 14 which for some reason has come with gold fixings rather than silver. You team this up with one of our basic t-shirts, 15 quid. We've almost sold out of these but we've just managed to get some more white and some more navy uh, t-shirts from Signature. We've got that sorted out this afternoon so we've got more white and navy t-shirts coming and again the stone wash jeans. So this is your investment piece ladies. This is the t-shirt that you replace annually because they never look quite as good in their second year and this is just a basic. There and this outfit is just stupendous. It's just you know just it's like a little uniform. It's just so good. Mm. Um, um uh, Hillary, sorry, Tuppence is Hillary, says that it's raining in France too. Oh, well, that has Yeah, changed, that makes so. us feel better. Now, um, I'm just going to come in again because we need to think about jewellery. And if thinking about costume jewellery, and this helps us for our buying for next year. Because you will see on this photo, there are hooped earrings and chains. There is a lot of chains in vogue at the moment so this year we have this um little chain necklace which is very very lightweight to wear from dante 36.50 and it's this is faux leather so the silver bits are not actually metal and i think this is actually i think this might be plastic so i don't think if you've got a nickel allergy that you will itch with it. I think this would be mm, perfect. And it's really for you. lightweight. And it's really lightweight. Yeah. So again, if you're going to invest in one piece to update your wardrobe, 36 quid on a necklace. And yeah. that just brings you into spring 2021. Mm. It brings anything that you've got absolutely on trend. So ladies, you don't have to spend a fortune. So are hoop earrings back on trend then? I'm I'm finally on trend they in the are. earring department, finally. <laughs> <laughs> you and my George. Right, knitwear. So, hello, we Sue. Have this gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to bring it in again. Do you want to come in? Yeah, because we okay. need to. The table will be in right. the way for this one. So, this is a spring trend for 2021, and it is knitwear. Knitwear is everywhere. Now, clearly, with the best will in the world, we are not going to be able to wander around like this. For a start, we need a bra to keep everything above sea level and um well my stomach was never like that so you know we can't do the uber uber trendy knitwear but what we do ladies is we then have a little nod and so what we have got is our gorgeous point out dress from k design which um is just a classic this is such a good fit it's so flattering on ev everybody I've seen in it has just looked absolutely gorgeous in it and keep an eye out for knitted dresses they will be coming through for the winter and I would imagine that this trend will continue into next spring I do think with knit knitwear a knitted dress you need good underwear oh, you so you need you'd need pants. you need good um good hold me in proper underwear not cheap no, underwear. and also, you know, or an all-in-one, really, yes. just to get that yeah. silhouette. The last thing you can want you see that a this? PL. Can you just lift it up slightly so I can... Thank you. So can this you is our K-Design knitted top, there. which you've seen us wearing fitted as a top and oversized as a tank. Um, and we're going to move back onto these colours later in this programme because these colours are absolutely on I've track. sent one of those out to one of you today, so um, it's on its way. So they are gorgeous. So, knitwear, keep that at the forefront of your mind, and I've got the expert. This oh, indigo colour, ladies, can you see this indigo colour is coming through, and it will come through again. Denim it continues to be a very, very strong trend, and here we have double denim oh double denim is back i saw somebody on tv the other night double denim 
So you were yeah. talking about double denim yeah. Yeah. Um, on Thursday, weren't you? Yep. Because we found an easier way of doing double denim with the chambray shirt. So mm. if you're not confident enough to double denim, then if you wear the chambray shirt with the stonewashed jeans, you've got the double, du double denim look, but it's tonal, so it's mm. easier to wear. So double denim, denim in an ink, I think requires a certain level of confidence, but you can do it, you know? I mean, I'm not sure that I'm confident enough to do this. It's made easier by the fact that the, the denim is slightly different tones, but um, I think it's something that you can, you're very happy with, or you can't do. But what you just showed, if you had the oversized white shirt on underneath that, it. that's going to break it up. It won't look as, it won't look as, um, so what's the word I'm looking for? Harsh? I don't know. Break yeah, break it up. Yeah. I, I see the jacket and the jeans, <gasps> and I just think of that 80s pop group, Bewitched. Well, Can any, thumbs up, ladies, if you know what I'm talking about, Bewitched, if you're, if you're my age range, you might. But a suit, yeah, that's, yeah, so now you've broken, broken it up. It. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we can double down That's and, gentler. and break it. Yeah. But I think you need to be quite brave just yeah. to do the Oh, yeah. Lot of, lots of people are remembering Bewitched. Yeah, I'm not going to start singing. Don't worry. Well, I don't remember Bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> was I pissed? Was I pissed? <laughs> I think right. they might have been a one-hit wonder. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've talked about double deniming. It's coming through, you can do it, but you don't have to. The reality is you don't have to do any of this. The next thing I want to show you Here is I go Dolce again, I'll Gabbana. go back. Oh, wow. So this is Dolce <gasps> Gabbana's oh my, advert this oh season. Oh my God, look and at that. I am in love. Just can you just put it even closer? That's it. Oh my word, look at that. The colour. Don't look at that if you've got a migraine. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is going to be a big inspiration for our buying for next summer. So if you look at the clothes, there's a lot of patchwork in there, yeah, isn't there? Oh, so very, like very the big, our yeah. patchwork oversized patchwork shirt. Yes. And then patchwork. what we're going to do to get this look, which we started doing already, is moving more into poly silk. Now, poly silk is fake silk. But the uh, ones that they make today are not like the poly silks of 20 years ago where you know you had rings underneath your armpits and thought you were going to die if the temperature got above 15 degrees. This is a completely different cloth. Um, this is from Tinta and it is one of our poly silk t-shirts and this is from Vogue and it is possibly a real silk top. But you can see the influence there. There's the abstract pattern. Yeah, abstract, We've yeah. We've got this gorgeous indigo blue that everybody's talking yeah. about in Vogue. And it is the poly silk that we are really, really interested in at the moment. If we buy something in poly silk, we put it on the shop floor, it just goes. And it's because it's just such a flattering cloth to wear. Mm. This is actually a viscose poly silk, so it's not even, it's a, it's a Vicky silk. Yeah, so that is the thought process um, behind me pulling this piece uh, from Dolce Gabbana, is because obviously, as well as looking at stuff we've bought already and sh thinking about how we're gonna put it together and how we're gonna show you the trends that have come through this season, we're always looking ahead. And I thought this was a gorgeous print as well. I think this is absolutely beautiful. So the prints are bold and they are bright. Now this has started this summer and clearly is a trend that will be coming through in the next two to three years. And bold, bright prints are not actually that difficult to wear. Now we had the maxi in this We've got the shift as well, it's from K Design, and because of the shape, because there is lots of flesh on display, let me just go to my Dolce Gabbana inspiration. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But Donna can wear this, yeah. and she's five foot and a size eight to ten. Mm. So you don't need to panic 
when you see things like this because what we do is the panicking for you mm -hmm. so we find trend and we interpret it for you in our buying which is why we don't look like a bunch of old girls from Norfolk <laughs> we are from Norfolk but we are, and we are a bunch of old girls but there's absolutely no reason for us to how much like is them. the tinter top for Sue I'll look so for it. I've just put the beaker online and it's 59 pounds 59. so there's no stock behind this ladies and it's actually a gorgeous shape it's a square shape it's very flattering the drop sleeve we've seen a lot of these drop cap crop sleeves and it's a jersey viscose at the yeah, back. Yeah, so 59 Sue. 59 pounds for that. Now moving on to the next trend, I just want you to have a look. I'm gonna come up to you because it's probably easier, my lovely, for you. I want you to have a look at these dresses because you will see that the dresses that we are stocking this year are very, very different in shape to a lot of the dresses we've had in previous seasons. I want you to have a look at the tiering on this. There's a there's an empire line waist, and then there's a skirt, and then there's a tear. Mm. Even this, which is a shift, is much longer than it has been. And the other thing that you will see is there is a lot of floral in this because what? florals never ever go out of fashion. So hemlines have dropped, ladies. There's a softer feel about the dresses that you're wearing. We're not going to abandon shifts because for a lot of people, these dresses are overwhelming. Are, are they, they overwhelm you, don't they? Are they, are they they're too um, much for you or could you it, wear some well, of it, them? It it depends on, remember we spoke, it depends if if there's arms on show, it depends on the neckline, um, yes, or the print, but also um, going back to where the waist is because if they are... If they've got a shape to them like that one at the top and and they're you sort can. of empire line then yes i can you can yeah so that's interesting. but but yeah i can't um i can wear patterns and floral you know because how much i'm always in floral lot, i have a lot of floral lot of the, yeah the ones i've seen you in are shorter with a lot of flesh on display. yeah but i i can wear the maxis as long as they, they're, they're fitted they're at the top line. do you remember we did that for the petite yeah. if they're full at the bottom they need to be fitted to or at the top, top or or empire line on top I and then i can yeah see this know. this one is like this one this one's empire line this is my, this, I've got this, I just want, I want the sun to shine so I can start wearing it. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see I'm calling it Empire Line? I don't think you can see because the it, pattern's hiding it's it. Here. It's can just I just underneath my, yeah. in fact, it's so high. I'm just going to, there, no, there, you can the see it, ladies. Can you see? Because actually the belt is too high for yeah. me to wear. Yeah, but the Empire Line is going, it's, look, it's underneath the bust. Yeah. And so if it falls from underneath the bust, most shapes can wear an Empire Line. It's the most flattering line. Yeah. But... This dress replicates the first one we saw, showed you. It's just a different pattern. So it's a batik pattern, but it has the empire line, it has a skirt, and mm. then it has a tear. Do you know, I've not tried that dress on, and I could probably wear that. So um, if we, next time we do a styling, if oh, we, we'll we probably do a styling session for maxi dresses and maxi skirts, which we, uh, if we do that... I need to try that because it's empire line See, and I works. can roll up the sleeves. I think that might work on me, yeah. And just so if you're below 5'4", five, um, five if you're petite and below 5'4", ladies, don't rule it out. And to let you know, we've also got some more maxis coming in from Pomodoro. Donna and I sat down today and we've chosen a beautiful maxi that... Uh, we hope you will love. Mm. We've sold out of Linda's uh, mojito dresses. So what we've done... No, we, in navy we in have. Navy we we've have. got them left in black, but we've sold out in navy. So no more navy. So what <coughs> we've done is we found uh, a lovely uh, chambray tensel one from Pomodoro, which we're really excited about getting because we didn't anticipate selling out of Linda's navy ones quite so quickly. We had nothing to take us into the summer. The sun is going to shine in June, ladies. Don't despair. We are going to have a summer. Now, this one I want to show you because clearly, I mean, I don't think she's looking that great in it. Can you imagine what we would look like? <laughs> we would <do>? Trainers <laughs> and a floaty skirt. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this, ladies, because the same thing is happening with skirts. 
So the hem lines are going down and you have that tearing to the gypsy skirt, basically. Gypsy skirt's back. Yeah. yeah, the gypsy skirt is back. You just need to remember when you're wearing this, as Donna's just said, if it's fuller on the bottom, you need to have it more fitted on the top. And that is where a lot of heavy busted ladies who don't like their arms are going to come adrift. Can you remember? when people had 87,000 million shrugs in their wardrobe and that was the last time gypsy skirts were on trend. What's a shrug? It's the thing that just comes underneath your arms so that you, you it covers the tops of your arms. Oh. It's like a very short cardigan. Oh, I think I've got one. Yes. yes. I think I've got yeah, one. You probably have because everybody wore them. Mm. And people had longer t-shirts and they had their oh, shrugs yes. over yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they had their gypsy skirts. Mm. So yes, if you still got your shrugs, ladies, I think it's about time you dug them out again. Right, I'm coming forward and then I'm going back, okay? Neutrals. We talked a lot about neutrals. We're introducing them into all our styling shows, and I want to show you. Sorry, why. come closer. Okay. Okay, right. We just so just look at the colours there. Sorry, They're ladies. All very, very muted. Lovely neutral colours. Yeah. What you have to do is find the right neutral for you. Okay. So if we have a little look at this, we have. Here a model with pinkish skin, pinkish tones in yeah. her skin. Here we have a model who is either, I can't see because I'm looking at upside down, but I think she's either, um, is she Asian? I think she's more Asian, isn't she? Uh, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so can get, you sorry, I'm out see of focus now. that she has a slightly darker neutral? Now here we have a black model. And she is in neutral, but it's a golden brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we have somebody with a very pink-toned skin. So she's in neutral, but it's pink. Right. And then here we have somebody who's just basically got very white skin. And then there are two more Asian models here. And can you see? They're all in neutral. But they're neutral to their So it's the tones, tone. right, and okay. that's what you've got to look for. Get so you can wear neutral against your skin. I wouldn't be able to wear a yellow neutral, but I could wear one that had a cooler tones. I mean, it's a bit like that colours malarkey. You just need to find out the tone that um, suits you and go with the flow on that one. And here we have more neutrals. We have jackets. Look at these trousers. Look at the leg width of them, ladies. Oh, they are wide. Oh, and look what you're wearing. And look what I'm wearing. <laughs> now, how much are these? These trousers are... <laughs> right. What did I... I don't know what I... Below, these trousers are from Ralph Lauren. They're 300 quid. These trousers are from Artichoke. I think they're 54. I love them. Yeah. More of these are coming in next week. They are the city trousers. On, uh, on the website, it has one of my stunning photographs of them, which means they look like nothing on this earth, but this is what they look like on a body, and we've got them coming in in the stone colour as well. Just do a twirl. So we'll have them in this, which is the white. We'll have them in uh, stone, and we've got a few left in navy. These are a great investment piece because these trousers will never date. And now the wide leg trousers are coming back into fashion and I've lost a lot of weight. I am digging out my Peter Martin high-waisted black wide leg trousers that this year I think will be 20 years old and they are fabulous. I love them. They're the best fitting trouser I've ever had. I just haven't been able to hook myself into them for a few years. Right, so we're going through the neutrals here. I've just put together a quick rail of neutrals and how to wear them with different colours. So we have here the um, shoulder detail button jumper. I'm wearing it in navy tonight because it's just my, that's my jumper. This would look equally as good. And actually, I don't think we can get any more of these. Is this a medium? Is it coming home with me? Oh, bugger, I think I might have missed the boat on this. We've only got an no, extra we large got many left and, we and an extra, extra large. And the large. So we haven't got many of these left. But this is so a four left. Color. These are our black trousers. We'll be 
starting these in the summer. They're not online yet. They're the Titian. Oh, they've got an ankle detail. That's that rather nice. Can you just show me that summer. ankle detail? These are... That's lovely for summer. Pounds. These are very, And very what fabric are those? Cotton, cotton. cotton. So stretch cotton. So perfect yeah. for the high summer. They yeah. Cool. This is our stone vest from Pomodoro. It's the essential vest. It's £25. This is the K design, a little top that we saw earlier in blue. It's £65 with the peplum. Mm -hmm. We've got neutral trousers. This is the Sylvia online, £75, and the Lolly, 66 We've also got the Lolly with white and a neutral spot. You can team this gorgeous uh, blouse, which I still haven't put online. I must do that. Gorgeous spot blouse with a pair of neutral chalk eye gores. We've done styling uh, videos on these already uh, this spring, and this is why we're doing it, is because it is such a strong trend. And then finally, the palazzo. Those are gorgeous. Sicana, Those palazzos are, are, are on They're my fast, list, yeah. And they are... They're on my wish list. Uh, 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 uh. They are £65. And then finally, when I showed you that the neutrals move into brown, we have this lovely soft taupe jean. Okay. Bad outfit, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So, neutrals are something you need to keep your eye on, ladies, because it is a fashion that's not going anywhere. Mood indigo, blue. We talked about this last year. If Oops, you she's go coming back round. to the, um, the in vogue I did last May, we talked about, I can't, I don't know how to say it, but it's the Lazu Absolute Blue. The beautiful blue that the Madonna's I that was a dog. are all. <laughs> Lazu Absolute. Anyway, the Madonna <laughs> in all the medieval paintings wears this gorgeous blue. Indigo, which is not too far adrift from Lazu, whatever it's called. It's just to show you this gorgeous cobalt blue colour or cobalt a variation blue. on a theme. It's very purpley. It? It's gorgeous. And um, my Joe will like this because Absolutely it's so it's beautiful. a purpley blue. Do you have a look yeah. at all the old paintings? They're this all is, that. This okay. is the blue because it was the one, only one that they could mix up. So I said we'd go back to it. Blue, 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 blue. Actually, if you pick up that dress, the sleeveless K design dress, that's got that colour in it, hasn't it? Yeah, yes, it has. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it has. It, it is. It's yeah, that yeah. colour, that purpley blue. Yeah. So this is, um, has, has influenced the colour, colour stories that we do. You know we do colour stories every season, and the blue that has come into the colour, so into the navy story this season, hasn't actually been a true navy. It's called Midnight Blue, and that's why. So when Sarah is planning the shop, e each rail is a colour story because she puts together the colours and, and what she's planned when she's buying, what she's planned for as those colours to go. Story. Yeah. So basically, yeah. as I buy, I actually do the shop plan. Mm. So as I bought for this winter, the shop plan was done. I will know by the time I finish buying exactly what the shop is going to yeah. look like in six months. Time. So all the colours together, if I show you quickly, look at oh, what you'd wear those items with. And a new customer, I have ha having a lot of new customers in the shop in the past few days. And uh, one lady commented today saying how helpful it was. It is, I think it just mm. makes, makes the whole buying process easier. Bags. I've pulled out this mood indigo thing to remind me about bags. If you look online, there aren't any. <laughs> there aren't any in the shop either. That will be rectified. I was, I was, I was, stop, I was avoiding buying bags because I was trying to see if we could get a better price point for you by buying direct from Italy. But I have failed miserably. I think at some point I just need to get on a plane. Then we can sort out our bags and our handbags. So I've been back to the wholesaler. They have very limited um, styles in stock, so there aren't any new bags, but we, we have got our old favourites coming back in in lots and lots of colours. And then uh, once life opens up a bit more, um, I will be able to explore more bag options. 
Um, I'm very pleased we didn't spend a lot of money on straw bags for this season, however trendy they are, because we wouldn't be selling any. Celia, hello Celia, is that our Celia? Celia, Clark, is that our Celia? Don't know. Different Celia. Celia is that you? <laughs> Give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> I'm not sure of C our Celia's surname. What's our Celia's surname? Oh, now you ask me. No. <laughs> Clark. Oh, it is our oh. Celia. Hello. <laughs> so lovely to see you. Right, shoes. Shoes, 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 shoes. Platforms. Look at these ladies. Platforms. Platforms, platforms, platforms. Look what we've got. Platforms. platforms. <laughs> these are super comfortable. As you can see, they are absolutely on trend. Um, and they're available online. So there these are go. our platform sandals from Vanessa Wu. And they are £65. I can see that then. Platforms, ladies. We've also the got a pair of platform trend. trainers, the Python. If you look at if you're wanting uh, a trainer, we've got the platform Python trainers. Have a look at those. Now, this is what we've been banging on. This about is the bit I've been waiting for. This is the exciting <laughs> bit for me. <laughs> so we've been talking about our platform trainers for about three months. They finally arrived. They're from Fab. Those of you who bought fab shoes in the past know how comfy these are and I've just, I mean obviously we wouldn't wear them like this but again it's just to show you the platform trainers are a trend that are not going anywhere soon. We have these available in black and if I work my little magic we also have them in white and in red. It's a lovely red. That's a really nice red. So, Christina and I are putting these online on Tuesday. They're available in size 36 to 42. If you want to grab a pair before they go online, because, ladies, these are at, I mean, I just can't believe we're able to sell them at the price we can. These are only, how much did we say? 29 Donna? pounds. 29 quid, ladies. So you can mm. have one in every color. Donna's tried them on, are they comfy? They're really comfy. I am a size three. I'm a three to four, but, but so three and a half. So I'm a three and a half, the 36, um, when I put it on, it's quite roomy, and before I did the laces up, my foot was really slipping in it. As soon as I tightened the laces, my foot didn't slip out of it, but really comfy because um, I wear those with no socks, so I, I'm, sh I'm going to get a pair, and I don't think I'm going to have to worry about blisters because um you know because i don't wear socks they they just felt really comfy yeah. um but if you're between two sizes go down, go down. Yeah. so if you're a half if you're a four and a half i would buy a four um that yeah. that's my recommendations that's with, with, fabs anyway. with fab They're shoes generous, they normally yeah. are generous yeah um and i think calling all orthotic women you're going yeah. to get orthotic in these as well. ah right super comfy so this is the most exciting thing that has happened to us today we have got our trainers we're having one in every single color now this is more for me than it is for you ladies i've just torn out one page it's the tiffany page okay M michaela i'll add it to your order links ah. all the jewelry have links okay. so this means when we are buying for this winter and next summer what we will be looking for is linked jewelry it is huge absolutely right. huge i think they might even be snaffles you know <laughs> what the elusive snaffle is i have absolutely <laughs> no idea christine help us out here in fact they look like the things we I forgot what they're called, but they're used on boats. They used to, you, you put them the sails through them. I forgot what they're called as well. D-rings. They look like D-rings. D-rings. So, we already have, so that you can get ahead of the crowds, ladies. Links. This necklace in the two colours, rose gold and, uh, I forgot, rhodium. Is it rhodium? Called. Yeah. 25 pounds from Dance. Gorgeous piece. Don't wear two like that. I'll have Sarah <laughs> held it. Hang it on. We're minute. down to boobs again. <laughs> Rosie's husband was in. Rosie's husband was in the background. Heard me say nipples and and suddenly woke up, didn't he, Rosie? <laughs> so yes, we know we can swing our little necklaces around. Now then, what have I got? This ah, oh, we've got a pair of 
This is all about the winter. Look at this ah, lumberjack shirt. Yeah, yeah, this is me. This is the trend for this winter. This is what you will be seeing a lot of, as well as uh, tank tops. You will be seeing a lot of oversized lumberjack shirts. We've got them in cord, haven't we? Yep. Uh, we've got them in lumberjack material coming in, and we have got oodles of vests to come in. So again, this is going to be a strong trend next winter. Absolutely fab look, really easy to wear. Now this is thinking ahead. On about page three, this is the Dior advert and you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like an old master, but I want you to have a little look at this piece here because there's a lot of embroidery on it. And in the bag there's embroidery. And then towards the back of this month's Vogue, look at this there were lots and lots and lots of pieces like this so we've got the neutral color and they look like oriental carpets or so it's embroidery like that tapestry or tapestry, tapestry look. yeah so this and then can you see these i used to have a pair of these i tell you what i went to julia's uh, 30th birthday party and these i've forgotten what they're called have they're you still, have you still Camille, got them they? no they fell to bits and i got too fat but yeah so it looks as though this is going to be a really strong trend for next season but i think what we will focus on sorry next summer is we will focus on trying to get some beautiful coats or beautiful jackets uh we might even do it for the for next winter actually because it's going to be too hot to wear these and look there's that lovely sort of sort of so scarf. do you mean in the style of like the um coatigans that we had oh last gosh. oh my god wouldn't that be fun but so like in the coatigan Kathy, style if you're watching Kathy, you need so to get us a coatigan the coatigan but in that um on trend style yeah, with, with tapestry, tapestry a tapestry Are you yeah my woman? I yeah hope that, that's because well <laughs> we've added that to our endless wish List. Yeah. Right, so this is 10 trends this season, and I've just grabbed this because, again, I want you to look at the sunglasses. They're square. Oh my so we're God. going back, but that's like a Jackie O look. We go, these are like a Ray Ban look. So we're mm. going back. Uh, last season it was all about John Lennon glasses. This season it's going back to a much more classic look. Right. And then I want you to have a little look at this and this. Now, so the bag that this this, this tatting like fishing net is really really a strong trend. All right. But this is the way we can do it. You don't have to get a long sham one. You can actually actually you can get one from. Oh, that's a long sham fold away bag. Yeah, but it's okay. a string bag. It's a string bag. But you know, string bags again another great accessory for when you're trotting around Swaffham Market get your, your um, string bag. So this is just something to look out for. If you see a string bag, mm -hmm. they're obviously coming back on trend. I'm not sure, although I did wear these when I was a lot younger, I will be wearing string vests over the top of me. I have, um, I, it's in our house, in my house in the 80s, my favourite um, string jumper is now worn by my 20-year-old daughter. See, she's and she, and it's, it's a favourite jumper. And she's actually been wearing it for I a couple of years. You still got stuff from the 80s. And I still have that, yes. You must have the biggest loft known to man. Yo, I'm a hoarder, yes. So, wide leg jeans, ladies, okay? Are those jeans? Just, they are, they're wide with paint spatters on them. Mm. She can DIY. You can splatter paint all I over your jeans. I can go out in my old painting yeah, jeans. <laughs> but why legs? So Sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting that we've got people know. watching. Right. Lipstick. Oh. Lipstick has been very, very neutral for two or three summers. Colour is coming back. So I'm embracing this because I love my red lippy. So look at this. Bright pinks, bright reds. This, ladies, can be your pop of colour. So if you're wearing a very, very uh, monochrome outfit and you just think that you need a little lift and you're not really that keen on scarves, red lippy. So this is the trend for makeup, is bright. Bright is beautiful. And that, ladies, is our little whistle around this season's trend in Vogue. I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope that it helps you make your buying decisions 
when you're thinking about what to wear and I hope that it gives you the confidence to know that when you're buying from Artichoke, you are on trend. You don't have to worry about it too much because we take the hard work out of this, putting together each season a, a, a collection that makes sense uh, as, as a standalone collection that also works with items that you have bought in previous seasons. But they're not on trend for the sake of being on trend, and they are items that you will wear year yeah, after year, aren't they? It's well, classic as well, it? yeah. Yes. yeah. And, and the reality is you don't have to do any of this, yeah. but I just like to keep really abreast of what's happening. Yeah. And I, ju I, do, I really do like to keep, um, I just well, just up to date, really. And well, you uh, always have, don't you? Because yes. you know the fact that you are an avid Vogue, Vogue reader. Since I, since I, was I mean, 12. even if you weren't doing it for your job, you would still oh, be no. doing it. You'd still I, be reading it anyway. Yeah, definitely. I know that. I mean, yeah, I, it has been a real passion of mine since I was really, really young. So we can't whistle on too much more about this because time is almost up. Yeah, we've got three minutes. Okay, very quickly, ladies. Thursdays is all about shoes. Have a fabulous weekend. Goodbye. Thank you for shopping with us. We've had another manic day. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.